Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrance. Here with my good friend Steven. Hey everyone. I'd like to thank Steven for being back on the channel. Another video, so I'm very blessed to have a couple of videos this week. <laughs> um, this is Mother's Day weekend, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Hope you guys have a nice and safe uh, day. So today we're talking about a new release. I haven't smelled it yet, I'm very excited. Steven had did a video on his channel. I'm leave his channel down below of this particular fragrance, thank Stronger you. With You, absolutely. 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 Um, the bottle is just beautiful. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how it smells, my first impression, and Steven will talk more about the performance. And then I'll leave his video down below. Maybe he'll explain more about it. He'll do too much in my video, but he'll give you a little more information about it on his channel. Definitely subscribe to his channel. I'll leave the link down below. You know, I like the, the darkness on the bottom and then the light up top. It's pretty cool to have this in your fragrance collection. Mm -hmm. So I smelled the original Strong With You. I loved it. I got rid of it to buy some other fragrances. I do regret doing that now, <laughs> but <laughs> nevertheless, I'm gonna smell it. Here you are. Thank you so much. Ooh. So I do get some of the DNA of the original Strong With You, but uh -huh. I do pick up a little bit of that rum accord in it. And oh man, this is good. And I get a little bit of a darkness in it too. Yeah. I do. This is just, and it's sweet, it's dark. I feel like a little bit seductive, but not really seductive. It's a little bit where like you would want to maybe wear a leather jacket or maybe dress it up a little bit. Yeah, I like this one. This, this, is, this is fire to me. Awesome. You got to <laughs> love the true first impression. That's really cool. <laughs> oh my, I like this one. This is... If you're a fan of Stronger With You and you're familiar with the DNA, even with Freeze, you know, like they took a little bit of that sweetness and freshened it up with some citrus. So here you are going to get the rum accord. You're going to get the vanilla. There's like this chestnut thing going on in there. And then the Elemi resin that's in there kind of gives it like this exotic feeling while also adding to the sweetness and kind of like this flavorful uh, balsamic way. Uh, like Chris said, in the opening, you are going to get a little bit of that rum accord. It's not too spicy. It is a little spicy. I can kind of see where they're coming from with that rum that's in there. It doesn't smell too alcoholic-y, if that's even a word. It kind of has like this like a slight bit of like a powderiness. Do you oh, get where I'm coming from? Yeah, I do. I definitely pick yeah. up a little bit of a powder, but it's not an over powderiness where it could be like, oh, I don't like powdery scents. There is that yeah. spiciness in it, which is nice. And that little bit of rum touch is nice. I wish it was a little bit more rum, yeah. but it is nice the little bit that's in here. It does make the fragrance stand out just a little bit more than the other ones uh, from the lineup. But I think I like this a little bit more than I like Freeze. I did like Freeze because mm -hmm. it was fresh in the opening, and we reviewed that on his channel. I'll leave that link down below. We did a video on his yeah. channel. But this, I like this more than Freeze. With this one, it's probably a little bit harder to wear in terms of occasions and seasons. I think this one is a great formal occasion type of a scent. Freeze is a little bit more on the casual side, and also Freeze is kind of like a summertime, but also all year round kind of scent. This one, I could see somebody wanting to wear it only when it's a little bit cold outside. Today, it's a little bit chilly and windy here in Philadelphia, and so I can see myself wearing this one very comfortably, but I can see how there might be a little bit of a disparity in terms of seasons and occasions when it comes to this one versus freeze. In terms of the performance, though, I think you're going to get slightly better performance from this one than you would from the original, just because this is a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. The chestnut that's in there also kind of reminds people of By the Fireplace by Maison Martin Margiela. Kind of has like a similar sweet, nutty, slightly smoky feel, although this is not really smoky, but it kind of puts people in that mindset, I think. What do you think? I definitely pick up that. As soon as I get that, yeah. that, that it just reminds me of that fragrance. I'm not saying like it's a clone or it's, you know what I'm saying? It smells like that feeling. If you have that fragrance, you're definitely going to know yeah. what, what he means by this. It's just, I like By the Fireplace. I love that fragrance. As a matter of fact, I don't own it, but I love it. Same. But I can see myself wearing this one if I can't have that fragrance. So it's like one or the other. But yeah, this one. Yeah, same here. I like this one. I feel like I would wear this more like he said, like a more dressed up scenario. Or if it's a real cold day in Philadelphia here, like especially in September, October, November, wear something like this. You're going to feel just like very sweet, very warm. Uh, something you want to cuddle with your significant other. I think this is a great date night scent too. Absolutely. Well, me personally, but I think it's just, it's something nice. I think if you don't have the other flankers of this i feel like you should definitely try this out or maybe you're running low on your bottle and you need to get a new bottle maybe instead of getting a refill of the same bottle or buy, rebuying it definitely check this one out here yeah you know i think it's really nice i bought this one internationally and so i think the website is called sweet care 
Um, I paid about $65 for this size, which I think is a small size. That did not include shipping, so you might end up having to pay a little bit extra for shipping depending on where you live. Uh, but kind of like Chris said, it's a really great date night scent. It kind of has that level of sweetness that is appropriate for like a night out, a date, uh, spending time with your significant other. I think that that's kind of the perfect way to describe this one. This is definitely nice. I'll leave the website down below too, so if you would like to order this, overseas you can mm -hmm. and i know i think you said it took about maybe i think two weeks you like said for weeks. a deer okay yeah so it does take time time, time so be be aware of that and keep track of the tracking and all that but at the end of the day i like this one a lot i think this is one i'm definitely going to have to see if i can get a sample from steven so i can try it out <laughs> more and see if my girlfriend likes it but this bottle is beautiful too i'm sorry to say it again but the bottle is really nice it's very different with the coloration and i like the dark juice too yeah, i do too yeah so Thank you, Lady Jam, for watching another fragrance video. If you like fragrance reviews, uh, giveaways, top 10 lists, so on and so forth, make sure you click that red subscribe button and make sure you like the video. And make sure you go to Steven's channel after this video ends and make sure you subscribe to his channel and Thank click you. the bell icon for future videos on his channel. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next video. Stay safe. Peace. Bye.